What's going on everyone, man? It's your favorite iPhone ever, the iPhone 5S. This is the oldest iPhone supported right now. It's still getting updates, it's still getting love, and it just got iOS 12.2. Now I said this in every other video, I'm gonna say it again. Apple did their event today. I think it was kind of underwhelming. I think they could have done more. They had Oprah on stage, bro. Oprah's like my spirit animal, and even she let me down a little bit, but that's besides the point, whatever. iOS 12.2 surprisingly didn't bring too many crazy features. I think it mostly was just kind of them marketing the newest features of like the Apple event. That's like the newsroom and subscription, whatever. I'll get into those in a second, but this update did come out to about 717 megabytes, so not a humongous update. Definitely wasn't like 3 gig update, but it's definitely like pretty respectable for a point X release, so like 12.x, whatever. I was expecting it to be smaller, but just make sure you have at least like a gig saved on your phone so your update goes smoothly. Don't be having like 700 megabytes exactly and expecting to update. It probably won't even let you do that. Now some of the features that were added aren't really necessarily for the oldest iPhone that's supported. Um, for example, there's four new N emojis, so that's really cool for the newest phones, but with the iPhone 5S, it's not even supported there, so it doesn't really matter. But it's still cool that Apple's still adding more N emojis and more features like that. So I wonder with like iOS 13, if we're going to get new N emojis, which I'm assuming we are, because their whole entire WDC layup and their whole entire like thing had an emojis on it, but whatever. Now within the control center, there's actually some new Apple TV functions. Now I, there is a new function for Apple TV remote. I don't know if that's new or not. I've never even seen it before, but it could be. It was there for a while and I just am just stupid and I just overlooked it. But there are some new functions within the control center for Apple TV. I don't have an Apple TV, but for those of you who do, you will see some new added features within the control center for that. So that is really cool. And another thing within the control center, well, it's not really control center, but AirPlay support has actually been improved. And one of the major things is that if you're streaming a video from your phone to like a screen or something, you can actually still use your phone while that video is still playing. But on top of that, you can actually go and watch a different video on your phone and still have it playing on your iPhone while it's still playing in AirPlay. So that is really, really cool. I'm so glad they're doing and adding features like that within AirPlay. I think AirPlay and AirDrop, all those things are super awesome features. And I really hope they just keep adding those features on it. Now, another thing based off their new subscription model. Now, I think you need to have Apple TV Plus in order to do this, which is kind of a funny thing, really. And their Apple TV Plus is like their Netflix competitor, basically. But now if you hold down the home button, you enable Siri, you can ask Siri to play videos. So you can say, hey Siri, play this video, the name or whatever. But now I think you can actually tell Siri to play the video specifically through Apple TV Plus. So that is awesome. Instead of having to, I guess, manually search through it, you can tell Siri to play this certain video on Apple TV Plus and it will play it. So that's awesome. And another quick little thing they did with the Apple News is now they have Apple News Plus, which is like their subscription thing, I guess. I don't really know. Like, I don't know what they're doing. So it's Apple News Plus Magazine. So you can actually go and subscribe. So it's like a monthly fee you pay or whatever, like a yearly. I don't know what it is. I guess it enables you to get more content from the Apple News app. So that is cool. You can try it for free if you want to. I know it's not my cup of tea, but I know there's people out there who will like this because I know there's people out there who still use like paper magazines and paper newspapers and stuff. So there's a market for everything. And I know Apple's going to make a ton of money off this. So that is cool. I guess it's like nothing bad, but it's a quick little feature, I guess. Now I did run a benchmark and I don't know what the heck happened, okay? This was the previous one. I think it was 12.1.4. I don't remember what I put it on, but I had 52,353 as a multi-core score and I just reran it and it went down severely to 38,619. Now, I think I had a higher score in my iPhone 5, okay? Now, I don't know what exactly happened. This is the only phone in my whole entire arsenal of phones that went down in the multi-core score. So I don't know what happened here. Hopefully Apple goes and I guess addresses it, but it doesn't really matter anymore because I don't think there's a lot of people using this phone still, but... Overall, would I recommend updating? I would say if you're on any iPhone, I would really recommend updating to iOS 12.2. I think it's a pretty decent update. I don't really see anything wrong with it right now. I will have an updated video in a couple of days explaining my usage with it, the battery life, any issues and all that stuff. So keep it locked down on the channel so you don't miss that. But if you're waiting for a jailbreak or something, stay on the lowest version you can. If you're between iOS 12 and 12.1.2, there's already a jailbreak there. But if you're above that, stay on the lowest version you can. I will have speed comparisons coming out tomorrow for the iPhone 5S as well. So keep it locked down on the channel so you don't miss that either. But that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that don't mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it don't mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, man.